All right, y'all. So I wasn't planning on making another Omi token or VV video soon, but I had a lot of comments and people were trying to basically sway opinions and sway my my thoughts when it comes down to the Omi token and talk about how oh every NFT coin is down and all of this stuff. Listen, this is not a oh I don't know what happens during a bear market type of opinion. I know what happens during a bear market. This entire market, I've been making a lot of money throughout this market. I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, when it comes down to this project in particular, my issue is with the way that the team has moved. So I'm not one of the investors that's so desperate for any project to work out that I'm just going to hold and I have to hope for the best or I have to trust people who have proven to be shady and full of shit. I'm just not that investor. I'm not desperate. I actually know how to make money and profit in the crypto space. So I don't have to hold on to any project that I don't care for. And that does, so so ignoring the criticisms that I have of the team and how they move and trying to distract people and say, oh, this person is just, he just doesn't understand that the entire crypto market is down or the entire NFT coins are down and all this other stuff. Oh, he's just scared of a bear market. No, you can try to spin narratives, spin lies, do whatever you want to do. But the fact of the matter is the reason that I don't like the OMI token and the reason that I don't like the team associated with the OMI token is because they built the VV app promising that the OMI token was going to be able to retire people. You were going to be able to do so much in the metaverse. Every single thing that has to do with the OMI token, every every single thing that has to do with VV was going to use the OMI token. The OMI token was going to be so valuable. And it's not to say that they can't still continue to slowly add values with the, with the regulations and all of this stuff. Like people bring up the fact that, oh, you didn't factor in the SEC regulations and all of this stuff. I hate the excuses the fan base comes up with when everyone who works with them behind the scenes, as they leave the company, they sit here and say, they didn't know any of this stuff. They, they didn't, they, that was not their plan. They had no idea what they were doing. They were still trying to figure it out. They were asking, asking people and looking for the community to bring them ideas because they don't know what they're doing. Now that in itself, the fact that they are, they're interested in taking ideas from the community, that's a step in the right direction. But at the same time, for the community to think that every single thing that they're doing is cal calculated, absolutely not. And that's the problem that I have with this team. They've convinced people that they're on their side when really they've been moving without any idea what they're doing whatsoever. And those of us who, who understand what was promised, that we were going to be able to, to work in the metaverse and we were going to be able to invest, because the token was presented as an investment. It was presented as an investment. So this is how it was presented. And then they changed everything to, oh, this is for collectors. It's about collecting. Some of us were here from the beginning when they were making these promises. And we took those words seriously. Now, I understand business. I understand that things change. You have to pivot. You have to move quickly. What I don't understand is after making this pivot, after moving, after reorganizing your strategy and, and you know, proofer um future proofing this 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 token why can't you explain what went wrong where are you planning to go now or, or the fact that you're still on course to do what you promised to do with the token even though some things have had to change my criticism has mainly been around the communication i don't care if it takes 10 if they told if they came out and told me Yo, we promised that this stuff was going to happen with the OMI token. You know what? We had to reassess what we thought, and we probably won't get around to dealing with the OMI token for another five years. I would be more trusting in that than I am of them saying soon every year, soon every couple of months, and then delivering fuck all because they're full of shit. This is what I have the issue with. This, this is the lies is what I'm not a fan of. So people trying to spin these narratives and move the goalposts and all this other stuff that you're trying to do to sit here and and basically keep carrying this token because you're so in, you're in so deep that you literally have to keep people fooled, keep people pumped up in the community, keep people happy. No, most of these people are going to lose their money. 
That's what it looks like in my opinion. I'm just one guy's opinion. I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor. And it's very, very public that the money that I had in this project, I took the largest bulk of it out already. So I'm not losing, I'm, I'm not, I'm playing with house money. Right now, I'm, I'm playing with house money. So people try to spin a narrative. Oh, he must have lost so bad, been down so bad. It's public record on YouTube when I sold. You do the math. It's like, y'all, people try to spin all type of narratives to save this bet. Learn how to make money elsewhere and you won't be so pathetic that you got to sit here and, and attack anyone who criticizes this project. Why is it that deep for you? Someone like me, I'm passionate about the project. I, I fell in love with this project and this literally had a huge impact on my life. I literally love the project. I just hate what the people who got me into it are doing with the project. I'm not impressed by, oh, we did fuck all with the token, so we're gonna let the community handle everything now. Oh, we're not gonna pay the staff, but we're gonna give them these um give them these NFTs and allow them to sell it so the audience, so, so, so the fan base can pay them instead. It's like, all of the shady shit this company has done is what I'm not a fan of. And people trying to act like the shady shit that they're doing is okay, and it's acceptable isn't just because they're the last man standing they have some of the most powerful brands in the world and they were the first ones doing this they had a great idea to start off with they they actually the way that they promised everything they promised everything in a flawless way they went about the beginning of this project flawlessly it just took some years to realize even though they were saying the right things the majority of what they were saying that sold a lot of people was bullshit because they haven't delivered nearly as much as they've promised. And now they don't say anything, they don't address things, and people are just okay with the fact that they don't address things. I'm not one of the people who are down bad in this project, desperate for anything and everything, and trying to make something positive. I was that guy for a while. But then when I realized the type of people that it appeared to be, we appeared to be dealing with here, I learned true skills. I started studying the trust. I started studying trading. I started studying things that would actually future-proof my ability to make money in this space. I started working on me because I don't have control over how shitty or great of a company VV is and becomes or Ecomi is and becomes. I have no control over that. I have 100% control over how good I become at what I do and continue to become at what I do to continue being able to make money no matter the conditions, no matter how big of a scam it is, no matter how successful it becomes. My only point with this project is things were promised and very little was delivered. And even outside of very little being delivered, they couldn't just communicate things. They can't communicate openly what is going on. That's my issue with the project. It's not hard to communicate. It's not hard to, to be transparent. It's not hard to tell people that plans have changed, how they've changed, how that's going to impact things and how that's going to impact the timeline. And if you don't know, that's, e that's that's terrible. If you don't know how long it's gonna take for you to start implementing something, that means you don't actually have an actionable plan. But it's very obvious that a lot of people in this community who still, you know, champion this champion in this project, it's just they're they're newer to business or they don't really know what's going on. Or it's people who were or it's people who are already successful who don't really have to care one way or another. So they were really only half ass listening and paying attention to the first place because they don't really care. Like they, they were never really investing because it was that big of a deal to them. But the, the fact of the matter is, it was a big deal to a lot of people. A lot of people are hurting. A lot of people are struggling. A lot of people have been impacted. And just because a lot of the, the wealthier people here who it was always just fun and games for them are not as heavily impacted, that don't mean people are not still affected. So when I sit here and speak on behalf of the people out here getting screwed and who will continue to get screwed into the future and people try to sit here and try to attempt to discredit me, it's a reason that a lot of interest in this project died down when I left the community. It's a reason for that. People see through bullshit. So you can write the all the negative comments that you want under my content. It means nothing. Your project speaks for itself. Look at the state of it. I didn't have to say a word for it to continue doing what it's been doing the entire time. Going downhill, slowly, 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 continuing to fall. You can blame the bear market, you can blame whatever you want, but when VV was at its peak, it was never following the markets. 
it was never do it was doing its own thing. It had a community where it was powerful enough to do its own thing. Now it's not. It's just going down. It's just going. It's just going down. That's it. But again, like I said, this isn't even about the price of the Omi token. Like for me, this is not about the price. It's about the disingenuous nature or tendencies that the team constantly displays. They cannot be trusted is what I feel about them at this current point in time. They can't be trusted. I don't trust them. That's how I feel when it comes down to this investment. That's it. It's really that simple. I'm entitled to my opinion. You're entitled to feel otherwise. I'm just saying, if I have all these facts backing the fact that I don't trust them, what the hell do you have to back the fact that you do? That's that's the only thing that's, you know, and then people try to draw out these big lists of what they've dropped, 99% of it IP related or something like, oh, the new comics app and, and that, that app. Like, it's like all this stuff to satisfy the licensor. And then they take that as, oh, they care about us. No, they have new ways to get your money and pay themselves and pay the licensor. Whoop the fucking do. You still, as the investor, ain't getting shit. And holding on to the, oh, in the future, it's going to be amazing. It's a lot of innovation that happens in the tech space. A lot of shit moves fast. So you want to sit here and put your all into the OMI token and sit here and defend every single dumb move and action that's made? I mean, be my guest. But you're playing a dangerous game. You're playing a very dangerous game. But there we have it. That's my thoughts, my opinions. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.